wanted a long time. And the last one I did make, YouTube decided to like upload not even half of it. So, yeah. It was like six minutes long. It was originally like 14, I think. So yeah, I burned, sunburned a little bit. Now no makeup on. There's more sunburn. Um, because Hannah, my friend Hannah and I, we went to the Earth Day Festival. Really cool. We both got burned, so uh, very painful. Um, <clears throat> yeah. You, I watched her video on um. How to take care of your skin and stuff with like, you know, sunburn and everything. So I think I'm going to try some of the things. It's not as bad now. I just kind of left it alone. I don't put anything on it. That's just me. I just like let my body heal itself. Um, but yeah, you should go check her out. Hannah Clark. You can look in people I'm subscribed to. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I'm subscribed to her. I think. Yeah. And you can follow her on Twitter. At Indigo Wonders. So yeah, there's a little shout out to her on there. And then follow me uh, at wild underscore gypsy underscore soul. So yeah, let's go on. Oh, fuck. Drop my phone. Everything's good. All right, so it is April 22nd. Hope you guys all had an amazing Easter and 420. Um, I did not really celebrate either one. I hung out with my friend Nathan. Um, we smoked, but it wasn't weed. We, we didn't have anything. Bait pens. That's how hardcore we are. Uh, and I'm not religious in the Christian sense, so I don't celebrate Easter. I sat here with my family while they ate a poor dead pig. And... So anyways, uh, April 22nd, it's nearing prom for a lot of you wonderful high schools. Um, some high schools might have it early, you know, whatever, I don't know. Uh, you might have had it already, if you did, well then you're a freak, because we don't have it until May, there's a third this year. Um, so yeah, I thought I would make this video about prom. So, um, yeah, well, let's just start with, you know, prom at my school. Uh, so we're in the Bible Belt, a bunch of homophobes around here, and this, you know, pe people are gay. There are a lot of gay people, and trans people, and lesbians, and bi's, and asexuals, and you know, whatever else, pansexuals, all that good, awesome, amazing, totally human and natural stuff. So, at our school, if two guy or like two people of the same sex are gonna go buy the couple's ticket and go together, you have to sign a waiver with your parents, like signing off on it, saying yes, I have a homosexual child. That's fucking stupid. Okay, like why? Why do you have to like throw them under like the bus like that? Like, why? That just pisses me off. I had to get that part out. Another thing that pisses me off: um, people who go to my wonderful school. Uh, first of all, um, <clears throat> feel very bad for you because it looks exactly like the fucking Sumner County Jail, and it's it's awful. We have a lot of shitty teachers. There are some good teachers, but mostly shitty teachers. Yeah. But, uh, so if you go to my school, you know, um, you, you've seen the posters everywhere about prom, right? It's got, uh, where, like, where they take pictures for prom and stuff. In the picture, in the posters, it's, uh, a guy and a girl, you know, tux and long evening gown you know they're obviously together and they're holding a screaming child and it says something like a night to remember lasts forever and ever shit like that 
and the message there is don't fuck each other because you're going to get preggers and give birth to so apparently in that ad if you fuck the night of prom you also give birth to a child that night so yeah that doesn't make sense first of all uh i mean you could have showed like you know sperm traveling to the egg and they don't think these things through obviously and i had something else to say about it oh yeah see that's why she let gays go to prom together because if they do have sex then they're not gonna have kids awesome um i i think that's really stupid i mean because it's all about this abstinence thing i don't know if other states like outside the bible belt I like this because I know we're all about Christian values Values because it's a Christian nation, which I will make another video on my opinion about the Christian nation very soon. That's a really good topic to uh, talk about. But yeah, um, so they're all about this abstinence thing because the Bible says so, blah, 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 all that shit. Um, I am personally asexual. I've said this before, I think. I know I did in this video, maybe another one, not sure. Um, but anyways, and I can't get comfortable. Ugh. Okay. Where was I? Oh yeah, the absence thing. Uh, you know, okay, I said I was asexual. Okay, meaning I, I asexual hetero romantic, meaning I don't want any sex whatsoever. I am all for relationships. I like dudes. You know, I like that emotional attachment but I don't want sex like at all <laughs> um so that's why I have trouble getting dates because all guys want is sex at least around here in my school anyways um but you know even as an asexual I'm all for free love and for those of you who don't know it was big in the uh, 60s and 70s with the whole hippie movement thing and you know there's like oh you can have sex wherever you want whenever you want with whoever you want as long as it's totally like consensual it's so, like as long as both people or if it's multiple people doing it as long as all people involved in it they're they're totally cool with it if you're not cool with it then you know don't do it because that's free um technically even if you don't say no you could feel be like be pressured into it and yeah i'll make a video about rape too but not today so yeah um yeah i'm all for that just just let the you know they're gonna do it anyways like teenagers are going to not just teenagers, people think it's just teenagers. No, adults are going to do it too. They're going to have sex before marriage. And you know what? Like, that's not my thing. I don't want to do it. That's just personally my choice. Um, I don't want sex at all, even if I did get married. Uh, but, like, it's their choice. Let them do whatever the hell they want. Because, you know, life's boring if you set all these rules. So if people want to have sex, let them have sex. Okay? It's not just a teenage thing and like, oh, you're all these STDs, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well then, if you get an STD, you get an STD. I mean, you can't not do something just because you're scared you're going to get something. Like, I love going outside barefoot. And, like, I love going anywhere barefoot. I hate shoes. They're prisons for your feet. I hate it. I love feeling the grass underneath my feet. It's just it's amazing. I love it. Especially after it rains, so it's like cold and wet. It's just, oh, it's so hot. But yeah. And, um, like, the consequences of me going outside without shoes, there's a lot of bugs and stuff that, like, I could step on a bumblebee and get stung, or a wasp and get stung. I could get worms. I could, um,. My music doesn't work, work today, so goodbye laptop. Uh, I can get worms. I could, I, I have two dogs, so if they go to the bathroom outside, I could, 
um, accidentally step in their shit or their a place where they've pissed. You know, any any of that's possible and probably more stuff possible. We have a wooden deck outside. It's out back. You know, I could get a, a splinter or something. But, like, that's the, the risk I'm going to take. I could, you know, get cut and then it could get dirt in it and get infected and I could die. But I love being barefoot so I'm you know, I could possibly die in some way from being barefoot because all this shit could get in my body and then I just, I die. Same with STDs. You, you have sex, enjoy, you do something you enjoy, and you could die from it. Or you could just live with it forever. Whichever one, doesn't matter. But, yeah. Um, I say do it. And I think my parents are home. So they're going to make me help with dinner. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.